that otherwise dismal road trip. Clemens off the DL, on the mound, looking sharp. Gets Steve Cox to ground into the inning ending, 6-4-3 double play in the first. As for offense, Clemens got one from the newest Yankee, Dave Justice, who serves this pitch into right center. First hit, first Yankee RBI. One fell swoop, one nothing Yanks. Bottom of the second, John Flaherty. Seven. Takes Clemens to center, but Bernie Williams, who's just been terrific on this road trip, makes the catch. Bottom of the third, two runners on for Cox. Again, a 3 nothing game. And Cox swinging for Rockets' career strikeout number 3,400. Bottom of the fourth, Fred McGriff against Clemens. McGriff hits one deep to center, but as we told you, Bernie Williams is patrolling that area for the Yankees. Top of the sixth, Jose Vizcaino with a runner on second. Vizcaino lines it up the middle. Bobby Smith goes all out, steps on second for the easy double play. Bottom of the seventh, 5-1 Yanks. Clemens still in the game. Scott Brocious diving to his left. Defense like that helps Clemens to a seven innings, three hit, one earned run performance. Issues, what issues? The Yankees wrap up their season-long 13-game road trip during which they tried to trade for Juan Gonzalez. It's Jays in Baltimore. Top of the first, Craig Greback at first. Mike seen against Raul Mondesi, and Raul wins this battle. 20th on the year. Jays up 2 to nothing. Top five, 2-1 two Jays. Two men aboard. One out for Greback. Back to the box, Mucina. Looks the runner back at third, gets his man. Mucina gets out of the inning unscathed. Bottom of the eighth, tied at two. Paul Quantrill against Will Clark. Goodwill haunting. Clark's fifth. He's homered in every game this series. The O's up 3 2. <laughs> Top nine, same score. Homer Bush comes in to pinch run for Marty Cordova. Bush, Bush tries to seal second. Greg Myers gets his man. Myers is pleased. Bush is not. So same at bat. Two pitches later. Green against Allen Mills. It is deep, but it is playable. Off the top of the wall, a long single. Look at it again. Green comes within inches of tying the game up. How huge was it that Bush was thrown out at second? Next batter is Shannon Stewart, and Mills gets the whiff. Ball game. Mills' first save of the year, and the O's pick up the victory 3-2. to two. Will Clark. The Griffey's had a father-son moment Saturday that won't be captured on a Hallmark card anytime soon. Senior told Junior he was being removed in the fourth inning. The move a precautionary one since Junior had just twisted his knee and the Reds were trailing Arizona by six. Senior summed up the dugout spat on Sunday by saying, I don't talk about family arguments. Cameras just happen to be nosy. All fences appear to be mended. Top of the first two on two out. Reds up four nothing. Denny Nagel. Line drive, left, Omar Dahl. Alex Ochoa scores. Benito Santiago gets greedy and gets nailed at third. Reds stake to a 5-0 lead. Dahl would be gone after an inning and a third. Bottom of the first, nobody on J. Bell, Barry Larkin. Larkin also went four for four. Top of the second, bases loaded, one out. Reds still up 5-0. Mike Morgan against Aaron Boone. Oh, Chris Steins will score. Larkin scores. Reds up 7-0. Boone not done. In the fourth, one on, nobody out. 7-0 Reds. Gone. Off Morgan, 12th on the year. Reds stake to a 9-0 lead. And I'm sure Buck Showalter has seen enough. Reds going to win it. 14-2. Reds have now alternated wins and losses over their last 14 games. Aaron Boone's five RBIs marked a career best. Dodgers Giants on ESPN. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang bringing people to the game. Top of the second, one out. Kevin Elster robbed by Jeff Kent, who does it all. The glove and, of course, the bat. 22 home runs on the season, 79 RBIs. That leads the National League. Not too shabby for a second baseman. 4-1 Giants. That's your score in the seventh when Felix Rodriguez uncorks the wild pitch and then Bobby Estelea uncorks the wild throw in the left. A lot of wildness being uncorked. Dodgers would score twice in the inning as Adrian Beltre crosses the plate. Bottom of the seventh, Kent gets into yet another one. Second of the game, 23rd of the year. Giants up 5-3. But it's 5-4 top of the eighth. Runners on the corner. When Rob Nen uncorks a wild pitch, Mark Grozelanek ties the game at five. Bottom of the ninth, that's your score. Mike Fetters on the mound. Intense. Marvin Bernard at the plate. Intense. It is a go-home run.
which I prefer more than a walk off. Don't you think? I, I can go with both, but since you coined the phrase, I'm sure that's why you like it a little that's, bit more. Perhaps I'm a little biased. <laughs> First, runners on the corners with one out. He turns on one. As Jeff Cirillo well. does turn on one, but Al Martin lays out. Brian Hunter scores. Martin would save a run, from another run from scoring one up in Rockies. That's your score in the fourth when there's Williams. That two-way threat. Ripping one down the line. Ruben Rivera coming all the way around for first. Williams had two hits in the game and three at-bats with an RBI and then a no decision because this game went in action. It's top of the tenth, tied at two. Cirillo. Facing Trevor Hoffman, runners on the corners, one out. It's a sack fly. Mike Lansing scores, plates the go-ahead run that would eventually win the game for the Rockies. Bruce Bochy bumming. Brett Boone was the one who sent this game to extra innings with a homer in the eighth inning. He has six home runs in his last ten games. Ordonez against Pete Shirk, bottom of the first. It's gone. White Sox out to a 3 nothing lead. Bottom of the third, 3-1 Sox. Chicago loving the long ball. Big hurt. He's got 23 home runs on the year. 4-1 Chicago. Next batter is Ordonez. Here's a 2-2. Gone. To dead central, second of the game, 19th of the season. 5-1 Chicago with the back-to-backs. Next batter is Paul Canerco. Would we get back-to-back-to-back? Ball now you get a base hit. Doesn't quite have enough. Bench is disappointed that Canerco has to settle for a single. Sorry, guys. Bottom six, 5-1 Chicago. Chris Singleton at first. He's going to try to steal second, and it's always easier when nobody's covering. Oh. Error charge to Hatterberg. Although, they really shouldn't charge him since nobody covered. Singleton would eventually score. White Sox want to beat Jimmy Williams and company by the final of 8-2. to two. The Twins, two men aboard, Ricky Lede at the plate, bottom of the first. Base knock brings in Roberto Alomar. Just like that, the Indians up 1-0. Top four, it's Chuck Finley finding his groove, which is sort of like getting your swerve on. Right past Denny Hawking. Right. Finley to Midray Cummings. Finley pitch seven strong. Top eight, Midray Cummings. It is sky to right. Six foot seven inch Richie Sexton lays out. Let's look at it again because there aren't many six seven baseball players. Next batter is Ron Coomer. To Enrique Wilson, great stop, good gun. Indians win it by the final of seven to one. Cleveland had 11 hits, all singles, but that was enough to win for just the seven. First, Luis Polonia leading off the game facing Max Suzuki. Start of the season, 16. An export. One nothing. Detroit. Top five. Some pretty good defense. It's Poloni at the plate again. Carlos Beltran. Bottom seven. One out. Jermaine Die at the plate. Die is going to test Dean Palmer. Tigers win. Behind Hideo Nomo. Nomo allowed only four base runners en route to his first win in seven starts. Matt Top of the fourth, Daryl Kyle on the mound, tied at one. Richard Hidalgo, 456-foot home run. He had two home runs on his 25th birthday. He had 23 on the year. Bottom of the fourth, Scott Ellerton on the mound against J.D. Drew, looking. Ellerton struck out seven and six. Top of the fifth, two on, one out. Astros up 2-1. Jeff Bagwell, and it's Daryl Kyle. Swings and misses at the curve, but Daryl, don't go there again. Oh, he did. The next pitch, Bagwell takes that hanger to the cleaners. Three-run shot, 21st of the year. It's 5-1, Houston. Bottom of the fifth, two outs. Bases full of Cardinals for Edgar Renteria, who flies deep to center, but Hidalgo runs this one down. And the Astros hold on to win, 6-3. Elgin stops it. An Astros four-game losing streak for the second straight start. In fact, Houston has won only three of its last 13 games. And Elgin on Sunday. Top of the fourth, one nothing Cubs with a man at third, one out for Brent Brown. Jeremy Burnett's pretty good arm. Just ask Jose Nieves. The 9-2 double play. Top seven, tied at one, nobody on, nobody out. It's H-Rod has just left the building. 14th on the year, this one off Jimmy Haynes, 2-1 Cubs. Bottom of the eighth, still 2-1. Two, two minute board for Burnett's, two outs. Up in his eyes. Brings in Ron Billiard, and we're tied at two. 
And you have runners at second and third. Next batter is that KG veteran, the gritty, gutty Charlie Hayes. Charlie Hayes with a good piece of hitting. Brings in Jeff Jenkins and Burnett's. The Brewers up four to two. Kerry Wood, the Cubs starter, pitched great baseball. Can only watch as the lead evaporates into a loss. The late inning rally allowed the Brewers to take two out of three over the weekend. Bob and the Rangers. That's Ricky Henderson. Top of the fifth. Ends up one nothing. Two outs. Henderson to Luis Alisea and gets his man. Great grab. Bottom six. Runner third. Pudge Rodriguez is at the plate facing Aaron Seeley. Former teammate. Ricky Henderson has some problems. Rusty Greer scores. Triple for Pudge. Tied at one. And Ricky looks a little confused. Top seven tied at two. Mark McLemore up. Two men aboard. And the grounder to third. Mike Lamb to second. Luis Alisea having problems. Everybody safe. Jay Buhner will score. Emmons lead 3 2. Edgar Martinez with the Mariners up 6 to 2. He's got 23 home runs this year. He's got 84 RBIs this year. Why do I bring that up? Well, those are impressive numbers. But Martinez had 24 homers, 86 homers. Tim Hudson had a chance to join this select fraternity with a win Sunday night in Anaheim. Hudson, who brought in a personal eight game winning streak, was paired opposite the Angels' Tim Belcher. Belcher in his three previous starts had not allowed more than three runs. First batter, second pitch. Ryan Christensen has left the building. Second on the year, one on the A's. Still in the first. Belcher's still struggling. And it's Ben Grieve at the plate. Brings in a run. From Belcher. Olmedo Signs brings in a run. Ramon Hernandez brings in a run. Belcher lasted a third of an inning, allowed seven runs, shortest outing of his 14 year career. Bottom three, Tim Belcher looking good. Just ask, move on. Troy Glaus at the play. The whiff. Hudson, seven innings, six Ks. Darren Erstad at the plate, bottom nine. Back through the box, we like Miguel Tejada. <laughs> Miguel Tejada. A's win it. Hudson is now 21 and four. His first 25 career decisions. He's won nine straight decisions. Jay are already up 2 nothing when Kilvio Veras takes Glendon Rush deep to left center field. Keith Lockhart, Tom Glavin come on down. 4 nothing Braves and Veras 2 for 4 and eight. Bottom of the second, still 4 nothing. Mike Piazza, the red hot Mike Piazza. Could he get a third home run in his many days? No. At least not for this moment. Top of the third, Javi Lopez, however, puffs out the whooping stick on Glennon Rush. Two homers on the day for Lopez. It went three for five, his 10th home run. Five nothing Atlanta, his 10th home run right off of Tom Seaver's retired number out there and left. Bottom of the fifth, six nothing Mets. Benny Agbayani was a thorn in Atlanta's side throughout this series with two on. Grounds into the 5 3 double play. Bottom of the seventh, Piazza still looking for that home run this time, though. Got it. Deep to right and gone. 20-game hit streak for Piazza. 15-game RBI streak. That's the second longest such streak in Major League history. Later in the seventh, 7-2 seven, now. One on, two out for Todd Pratt. Lines it to short. Nice pick by Walt Weiss. Gets the force at second to get out of the inning. Bottom of the eighth, Rocker would not pitch in this game. But he's trying to make some friends at Shea. And one guy gives the ball back. Forget about it. I don't want a ball from you. And New York's finest goes back to protect Rocker. So Glavin pitched now. As the game, top of the fifth, tied at one. Mark Smith takes Santana deep and gone. Second home of the game, fourth of the air. Marlins up 2 1. Top of the seventh, one out and bases loaded. Reed Cornelius grounds it to Orlando Cabrera, who boots it to Jose Vidro, who completes the double play. Your unorthodox 6 4 3 double play. And the Marlins are back at 500, coming up with their first ever sweep of the Expos. Second, Phillies up 3-1. Pat Burl, part of a 4-for-4 day. Scores Mickey Morandini. Philly up 4-1. And on cruise control, Rob Ducey, already with a homer in the game, looking for a second. He got it. Takes Tom Ritchie deep and gone in an 0-2 pitch. A career high 5 RBI on the day for Ducey. It's 7-1 game. 9-1 in the seventh. Bases loaded for Jason Kemmel, but Kurt Schilling blows him away. He had 10 strikeouts on the day. 
Schilling's 48th career double-digit strikeout game, and he has given up just five runs in his last 31 innings of.